Hi, today I'm in a place called Petrignano Sulago. It's right on the border with Tuscany. And I'm going to show you a very antique house full of history, frescoes and beautiful detailed floors. So we're in a little village called Petrignano. It's a nice sized town and has all the basic amenities and services. And this is a very old house. So you walk through the front door and this is the hall. It's an amazing room. Immediately to my right is the kitchen. Which is very cozy. And I love the way the owners have managed to bring out all the original characteristics of the house. And it's a really interesting house because it's got features that go through different periods of time. From the kitchen, we have the dining room. With its whitewashed wooden beams and nice floors. Again, the presence of these arches, which sort of give evidence that the floor was much further down originally. From here you go outside, so it's nice. You've got your dining room and the French windows onto the garden, so you could create a nice patio area here. This is your back garden, which goes quite a way back. And it has that little annex that needs restoration and this whole extra part of house that needs restoration. So it could be a really beautiful and interesting project. That is the well which is shared with the neighbor, each with its own pump. And then we have this really fascinating staircase that goes up to the door on the landing. So we're basically gonna have a look at these four floors with the open shutters. Whereas this part is the part that needs restoration. And that's a nice big old gate where you can drive in. It's in a, a really, really beautiful house. Next to the dining room, we have a laundry slash boiler room. which is a very handy room to have. And you could open a door there in the corner and continue the restoration to the rest of the house. Whereas this big door is another front door onto the um, road. Okay, back into the hall. From here we move on to the living room, which is quite impressive. I love these arches and these beautiful beams and the ceiling. Big, big windows onto the street. Big, big windows onto the garden on the other side. A lovely fireplace. dining area and this end part of the living room is defined as a study. Again we can go straight onto the garden from here. Instead we'll open this door and we'll be at the back of the hall. Immediately to my left here is more further storage space. To the right, we're back in the impressive hall room. And I love these doors. Ah, 
under the staircase, they've created a little bathroom. And then we go upstairs. These floors of the staircase too are extremely beautiful. They're old travertine. And here on the first floor, we have another little bathroom on the landing. No lack of bathrooms in this house. So we've just come up onto the first floor from this beautiful staircase of antique travertine. Immediately to the right is the main bedroom, which is a beautiful size. With nice uh, beam ceilings on that side. And here we look onto the garden. If we walk straight ahead, we walk straight into the main bathroom, which is a really beautiful bathroom with double sinks, toilet and bidet, a nice shower and a marvelous bathtub. Here too, we have lovely, very high ceilings and wooden beams. I love the details like this antique cast iron radiator and the floors throughout the house are full of charm and history to the left immediately above the hall we have this second sitting room reading room again with very high ceilings the first door to my left is a bedroom with frescoes on the ceiling immediately opposite this bedroom is another bedroom very big bedroom with two nice big windows, wooden floors and high wooden beam ceilings which have been whitewashed to create an effect of more brightness. Now we'll go up to the next floor. So we've just come up onto the second floor and immediately to the right, just above the master bedroom below is this amazing room. I mean, just look at that ceiling. It's unbelievable. Basically this floor has been totally restored from a structural point of view, electric and plumbing point of view, but hasn't actually been finished off. The owners live abroad and haven't had time nor the need to create um, further living space in this beautiful restored area. What fascinates me is the color of blue of these paintings. It's just so strong after all of these years. Here again, a fantastic view of the garden. Here we have the old uh, floors in terracotta. And this is the room which is immediately above the sitting room on the first floor. And basically it's another sitting room. I absolutely love the frescoes on the walls here. I mean, this is about um, a fire that took place in the town. I don't remember which year now. And then we have these beautiful flowers on the walls and this kind of fake wallpaper, which is in fact painted, which is beautiful as well. 
All the windows on this floor are double glazed, brand new, with brand new shutters. And the views from here are lovely. You can see Cortona and the whole Tuscan landscape outside the windows. This is the room above the big bedroom downstairs. It's the same size, opposite the bedroom like below. And then where downstairs we had that beautiful large bathroom. Here we have another room, which could easily be a beautiful large bathroom as well, since the plumbing is just below it. This is a little storage area. And now the final floor. So you come up this last staircase of travertine stone directly into the tower room. This is an amazing room. You can see the roof was completely redone. They've turned it into a bedroom. It could be a study 